What's up guys, as you know I recently flashed Paranoid Android on my Nexus 4 and I'm going to be showing you its performance in this video. I'll be running some benchmarks and testing out some stuff like that. Now before I start doing that I just want to mention some stuff. Now the kernel that's coupled with this ROM is actually just the stock Google kernel with a few improvements to the uh, colors. So the actual performance in terms of the kernel hasn't been changed. Now that isn't the same for the ROM. The ROM has had a lot of optimizations, namely crate optimizations. Now, a lot of the uh, Nexus 4 ROMs do actually have these optimizations now. And what they do is basically, well, I don't know specifically what they do, but it basically handles memory and CPU float point a lot better than the uh, stock ROM does. So we should see higher scores in benchmarks using a uh, crate optimized ROM like this one. So we'll be testing that out. Now, let me just show you the general fluidity of the uh, OS without doing benchmarks. And I've got to say, it is quick. It is very, very quick. And... I do feel like it is quicker than the uh, stock, and you can just see here I'm fl flying through the uh, stuff here. There's literally no lag whatsoever. It is very, very good. Um, I have to say I was really impressed when I flashed this. There's uh, no lag whatsoever. And, you know, I haven't even flashed a custom kernel like Trinity or Franco or anything like that. So uh, that's interesting. If I go into these settings, I'll just prove that to you. Um, about phone, you can see here, Paranoid Android. Now, the kernel version does say moles, but I did uh, check and it is a stock Google kernel just with the updated colors. So yeah, performance is very, very good. So what I wanna do now, guys, is check out some benchmarks. And the first one I'm gonna start with is Antutu. Now, this is usually the best one, you know, it doesn't rely too much on IO and does some really good stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit start test here. And I'll skip to the end because it is kind of long. Okay guys, and we're back with the results and you can see it scores 21463, which is a massive, massive improvement over stock. Now, if we um, submit these. So those crate optimizations are specifically for the S4 Pro. And if I uh, show you the chart here, or not the chart, actually, we'll scoot over to the uh, scores and show you the detailed scores. Basically, the increase over stock is in RAM, CPU, and CPU float point. So they are in the importance, the uh, optimizations are actually in the important tests. They're not in, say, for example, the database I.O. like normal stuff. This is actually improving the CPU integer and float point and RAM performance. So that's uh, really good. Now, if we uh, check it out here. Go to the chart, see where it comes. Well, we'll compare it to the Nexus 4 stock level. So you can see, I pretty much, I mean, this is uh, still 1.5 gigahertz. Nothing else has changed but the ROM. And you can see the major differences in here in the CPU department. You can see 3,532 compared to 2,391. So a lot better, especially here as well, 4,000 compared to 2,570. So it's a lot better in the memory department than the stock Nexus 4. And with a score like that as well, guys, you are gonna be at the top of the list. You can see above the LG Optimus G, above the Nexus 4, above the Note 2, above everything by quite a long way here. That is a very good score. And like I said, that's the stock kernel. I reckon you could probably get 22,000 or 23,000 with a kernel like Trinity, which is just a bit more speedy. So uh, very, very good score in and 2-2, and that's one of the best benchmarks I've ever seen. So let's uh, do some other ones. We'll just shut out. Actually, you know, I'm, I actually forgot to shut out most of my apps. So that was with all those apps running and it uh, it did well. So what we'll do now is we'll check out the Geekbench score. You can see here it's all stock stuff. So there you go, guys. We've scored 2025. 20, I think at stock it scores about 1900. So, um, or 18 to 1900. So we are above stock performance again. You can just see that is a very good score. I have seen devices hit 21,000 though. So not the best I've ever seen, but still pretty damn good. We'll uh, shut that one out. And we'll go to the one that I don't really like, but everyone always asks me to do. So I'm going to do it. Quadrant. We'll run the full benchmark. So Quadrant hasn't been updated like properly in ages. It's using the same old graphical tests and it's just not very good. And a lot of the stuff, a lot of ROMs can just manipulate this and just put the IO stuff through the roof. So um, Quadrant isn't always the best one to take into account. And Tutu is a lot better and, you know, 
the score it's been updated recently as well to help with the uh, updated performance and stuff like that so and with that guys benchmark result and we can see we score 5198 which is the top of the list but is nowhere near the best i've seen like i said quadrant is a bit weird a bit dodgy but it, there you go that's the uh, result either way last time i did quadrant it did score 5500 so we lost 300 points somewhere and that's just how inconsistent quadrant is so don't take it as a major thing but you can see here the uh, red is the memory department you can see the memory is pretty damn good in terms of its uh test the way it tests and stuff like that you know its score that it got it's very good compared to the other devices and that again is going to be due to the crate optimizations of the rom so yeah pretty pretty damn good in terms of the benchmarks i mean i've got a few more i could run here but uh I know there's uh, loads of people who will want me to run, but there's not much point. You know, the main one, guys, I wanted to show you here was Antutu and just how well it performs. And that is such an amazing score. And yeah, you can really see that the Nexus 4 is coming to life for the custom ROM in terms of performance, speed and usability. So yeah, that's the uh, performance of the Paranoid Android 3.0, guys.